Hey guys, it's Angelique, and this week my video is going to be a little bit different from makeup. So if you're currently a senior, this video is kind of late for you, but if you're a junior and you want to be ahead in your college application process, then this video will be beneficial to watch. If you're watching this video as a senior, um, I hope that you've already applied to college and done your essay, but if you haven't, it's not too late, just get on it. So with all that being said, I have about seven tips for you guys that I wish I knew before writing mine. And they're on my computer, so if I'm looking down, that's why. Okay, so my first tip is don't stress about choosing what prompt you want to write about. So when you're applying to college, at least for the common application, which is what most schools accept, they will give you prompts on what to write about for your essay. Don't stress, don't take too much time up about what you think the college would prefer you to write about because they don't they don't care per se about what you write about. It's how you write it and telling your story. So my second tip kind of piggybacks from the first one. Colleges really, when they're reading your personal essay, they really want to see how good of a writer you are and if you will contribute to their school or campus in a good way. My next tip is don't be afraid that the admissions board is going to judge you for whatever you write about. Your personal essay is called a personal essay for a reason, so you should, don't be afraid to get personal with them. Colleges really appreciate when a student gets vulnerable with them and lets them in on um, a little part of their life that you grew from or that you learned a lesson from or made you the person that you are today. Colleges want to get to know you, so don't be afraid get as personal as you'd like but also don't feel pressured that like you need to get personal if you're not comfortable with doing that then you can write about something completely different there's a bunch of different prompts that you can write about so don't feel forced to get personal but also if you want to don't be afraid that they're going to judge you for that because they won't my next tip is probably one of the most important get people to proofread your essay i don't care if it's a teacher if it's a friend who's really good at english get somebody multiple people hopefully to proofread your essay because when you're writing about your story, personally, however you write it will probably seem perfectly fine because you went through it. But from an outside person looking in, you could forget major details and not even realize. So having other people read it is definitely helpful. My last tip for you guys is don't stress about making your personal essay the 650 word maximum amount. And don't stress about making it too long, too short, whatever. Like I said a million times, a personal essay is your story. You are telling these people what you want to tell them. However long that takes you to do, and however little that takes you to do. As long as your story is complete, it doesn't matter the words. Just make sure it's over 250 and less than 650. Those are all the tips I have for you guys about writing your personal essays. Just remember to breathe and everything will work out in the end because the college process is one of the most stressful things ever and I'm going through it right now, right along with you guys. So that's all I have. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to North Drive Live and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.